guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com, and this is the first time set up with the HTC HD2. I've yet to turn it on for the very first time, and to start, we have to remove the back battery cover, which is kind of difficult, and remove the uh, piece of plastic that's covering the battery. So the idea here is that you sort of lift up on the left side, it, there it goes, you feel like you're going to break it. By the way, this is absolutely 100% metal. It's, it's real brush metal, not fake stuff, and it looks gorgeous. So let's take out this uh, little piece of plastic, and the battery is about 1,250 milliamp hours or so. Kind of small, but we're assuming the HD2 has really good battery management. So we're going to put in the SIM card. There it goes. Put the battery in and the battery cover back on. Right now I have it plugged in so that it begins charging immediately. And let's see how this goes. Snap it. Good. Wow. Wow, this screen is just so massive. Even I'm already impressed and nothing's happened yet. So let's see what happens when we go through the first time setup process. Quietly brilliant. And there, there is an LED indicator light at the top there, which is good. So you know if you have new emails without actually having to turn on your device. So it's first time setup. I just put in my AT&T SIM card, and I'm going to click Next. I just tapped very lightly to see how sensitive the screen was. Looks like I have to tap a little bit harder. We're going to compare screen sensitivity to the iPhone uh, coming up in a future video. So it's setting it up for AT&T in, in the United States. Learn how to quickly and accurately enter text symbols. So let's... See what happens. Tap here to start typing. Okay, so here is the uh, walkthrough. We actually filmed this walkthrough on an earlier ROM on an HD or a Touch Pro 2, but we're going to do it again. So it's just, you get a little bit of haptic feedback. I have a feeling this keyboard is going to be extremely easy to use um, thanks to the very, very large width and height you have to work with. Okay, next. Auto correction, A. Press and hold the A key. Okay, and we're going to drag. Okay. Oh, it <laughs> wants me to do something else. Try that again. Drag over to here. Screen feels very nice. Tap the keyboard icon to close. Would you like to replay the tutorial? No, I think I got it. Network's detected. I uh, don't want to connect right now. I don't want them to collect information about where I am. I'm going to agree to that. And I'm going to do all of this later, so I'm going to skip this. And you can set up social networks, so you can link up your YouTube or Twitter or Facebook. Um, I'll do that stuff later as well. Let's just see what happens next. Um, you can go to a website to find out more, finish, and let's see what happens after this. Wow, we're dumped right into TouchFlow 3D. I'm going to give you the first impression of the capacitive screen. I'm going to mess around with it for a little bit. Okay, it's it's very sensitive. It's it's very sensitive. Um, it's definitely more sensitive than any other HTC device that runs Windows Mobile, like the Touch Pro 2. I'm ta tapping very lightly right now. It's being very responsive. And it's very interesting to use a Windows Mobile device uh, which has been on resistive screens for the last 10 years. It's a, it's a very interesting experience but it seems like it's working very well. Just want to jump into an application real quick um, that I am so used to in using. Let's go to Office Mobile, Word Mobile. Let's see how fast this launches. Wow, that was extremely fast thanks to the Snapdragon processor. I'm going to try to type real quick. Okay, I'm doing something wrong here. Let me try that again. Wow. I'd say this keyboard may be easier to use than the keyboard on the iPhone. We're going to have a lot more tests on keyboard entry and a lot more covering the new interface of HTC Sense coming up in future reviews. Just wanted to show you what the first time setup is like on the HT2. We'll be back soon with more.